Well, good morning. This is how I finished the basket. And I continued I continued using cedar roots to work the seams and I tucked the edges in when I was done. I used an awl, I made holes through all the layers. This should have been done on the inside, but that I did on the outside. And then I took a piece of willow and I wrapped it around over itself. See? And then I did the same thing with the cedar roots. I started and left a big piece sticking out. Where is it on the inside? Well, I poke the hole. Let's see if I can find the beginning. Okay. You poke a hole through. You leave part of it. Oh, that's just where the stuff came off. Um, here. Okay, you poke a hole. And you bring it through. And then you bring it through again. Then you start wrapping. Make sure that you're not on the same line. See how the lintel are on these lines? See how they go like that? If you're on it, make sure you're not quite on the same one. Because if you do get on the same one, it can rip. I think there's a place where it did rip. Here. There were two in the same line or something. And it ripped and it wasn't. Oh no, maybe it's over here. Yeah, here it is. These two were in the same line. Luckily, there was a second layer behind on that part. You just wrap, use your roots. You don't have to peel them, and they'll harden up really nicely. And when you get the rim on, then I braided a piece of, uh, what's it called, seagrass or something, and I put it through, I tied the knot in the end, and I pulled it through, and then over here I had the four split in, the four separate ends, and so I just tied it off in the, in the back. I braided the four. I, I made this four thicknesses and braided it. And there is your birch bark basket. And it won't hold water because you see there's little holes in the corners. And of course there's holes in the sides because I used a very old piece. I'm an opportunist, so I don't I don't take birch bark from a tree. I don't want the tree to always show where I've been. Even though it won't kill the tree if I take the outer bark, I don't want to have it so that every time anybody ever sees that tree, there's a whole bunch of bark missing and it. it's, it's got the healing bark under it. But I, don't, I still want to do that. So I, you know how I harvest birch bark from, from logs that are um, meant for firewood. And so it's not always supple. Now some people use this white stuff on the inside. They turn it to the inside, and you can oil the underside, and it'll be a beautiful, deep, rich brown. Let me show you my pile of birch bark here. I knew you were going to see it. See, I have all this birch bark, which has been, I have a lot of it in between these. Oops, on the ground. I have a lot between here and then under the glass and then I have some more on the top. You can see it's very old and but you can still use it. And if you if you heat it, it becomes very supple. And you can easily peel those many layers.
But otherwise, what would happen to this? I mean, if, the, if I didn't use these old pieces, what would happen to them? They would just be thrown away. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so that's how to make a birch bark basket. Bye.